Hello, my name is Dr. Sanket Pisat and I am a consultant gynecological minimal access surgeon practicing in Mumbai, India. In this video today, we are going to be discussing hysteroscopic correction of uterine septum. The normal female reproductive system consists of the uterus which lies in the center and a pair of fallopian tubes and ovaries, one on each side of the uterus. This uterus is the organ that normally harbors the child and where the pregnancy grows. The uterus has an inner lining which is also referred to in medical terminology as the endometrium. On the two sides of the uterus are the two openings of the fallopian tubes also called as the tubal ostea. So there is a tubal ostium on the right side and a tubal ostium on the left side. Normally, during the process of intercourse, the sperm enters through the vagina and the egg or the ovum is released by the ovary. The ovum then travels through the fallopian tube and the sperm travels through the uterus until finally both of them meet inside the fallopian tube at a point somewhere close to the tubal ostium. Once these two have met, the pregnancy starts forming and in due course of time, this pregnancy finds its way back into the uterus as shown by the golden symbol called the embryo. Some patients have a localized overgrowth of the muscle in the center of the uterus also referred to as the uterine septum. This is a midline projection seen from the top of the uterus. This is the normal view of the inside of the uterus which is a spacious hollow cavity with the right tubal opening seen from inside the uterus and the mirror image of the same is the left tubal opening which is seen from inside the uterus. So there is one single large cavity and two openings seen on either side. However, in this patient, there is a large uterine septum in the midline dividing the cavity into two halves. So this is the left half of the uterine cavity and as we go inside again on the other side is seen the right half of the uterine cavity but you can see that unlike in the earlier video these two halves are completely separated by a vertical septum which is a fibrous band dividing the uterus into two vertical halves. There is another variant of the septum which is a shorter but thicker variety and here we can see the uterine tubal ostium on one side and a thick muscular bridge which is separating the two. The treatment for this is cutting the septum with the hysteroscopic micro scissors in an effort to reshape the uterine cavity back to its normal shape. So gentle cuts are made in the intervening bridge which is separating the two ostia and an attempt is made to refashion the cavity back to its normal shape. The initial part of the septum is fibrous and does not receive blood supply but as one goes deeper more and more areas richly supplied with blood vessels are seen which is a good sign which means that the uterus is now getting back to its normal content and will be able to harbor the pregnancy uh, because of this surgical correction. Patients in whom septum resection has been done have significantly lower rates of abortions and better pregnancy outcomes even after IVF treatment. If you like the video, please click on the icon above to subscribe to our channel and keep receiving more updates. Thank you.